Hey everyone, in this video we want to take a little time to just talk to you about flooding and how it can be a good indication of when you just need to take a break and recollect yourself. And so, I mean, I'm sure if we just sit back and we think about flooding, we're going to think about emotional flooding. What comes to mind? Freaking out, just having too many emotions. Kind of like a stress response, like yeah. fight, flight, freeze. You just don't know what to do. You know, yep. um, good signs of flooding are like, you know, you, you feel like you want to run away from the situation. You're feeling hot or temperamental. You're, uh, what happens to me is I start shaking. You'll That's start when shaking. I know shit's going to get serious. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, shaking is definitely one of them. You can feel like your heart rate picking up or your, your, uh, heart is beating. Those are signs of that stress response. Um, or maybe you just start raising your voice and talking more loudly or saying things that you actually don't want to say. You regret saying them, but you say them because it's part of that fight mode, right? Fighting isn't only physical. Like that meme that circulates around the internet, uh, the one where the woman is like, I like your dad bod, and then she gets pissed off, and she's like, you fat piece of shit, right? <laughs> That's flooding. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, other aspects of this could also be you have difficulty, like, putting your thoughts together, you know, a hard time thinking. And then, you know, there's part of the – people often think of the fight or flight response, but there's actually a third component to it. It's called the freeze response. Uh, this is like deer in the headlights. Like you're so overwhelmed with that stress response that you just, you freeze, right? And this is when you just feel like shutting down and like dissolving out of the world altogether. I do that one often when I feel overwhelmed. I just can't piece my thoughts together at all. Yeah. And so all of this is flooding. It's emotional flooding. And it comes from our survival instincts and that's how it manifests. And so... Whenever this happens, it doesn't matter whether you're in an argument with your partner, whether you're trying to get work done, whatever is going on when this happens, that is a clear, clear signal that you need to stop whatever you're doing and you need to take at least 20 minutes to separate yourself from the situation and possibly also engage in some mindfulness practices, whether they're you know breathing activities or that tapping thingy that you've talked about before where you're just like tapping different parts of your yep, body and your head, um, anything to get you to calm down. And then after 20 minutes, when that stress response is down, then you can revisit the situation. Yeah. I tend to like to just leave the entire environment. Yeah. I could never collect myself like in the same environment that I get that fear response. Well, a common one for you is you'll go for a walk. Yeah. Because walking is a great way to calm down as well as to start to think about the thoughts and the emotions you're having and to escape the environment. It's like all in one. And so that's a really good one. Yeah. The thing that I've had the most problem with, I think over, I've been doing this probably for around eight years, like removing myself from the situation when it's too intense. Um, I have an issue where a lot of people don't want to let me leave because they want to finish the conversation. Yeah. And yeah. that's like a control dynamic. And you really have to, you have to just put your foot down and set your own boundaries at that point. Um, I came across multiple people that do that and it's because they want to control you and your response. And if you're not in the mental frame to even respond appropriately, you need to set your boundaries and remove yourself. Yeah. I think that's an excellent point. And I mean, oh, like basically everyone tries to control other people and like wanting to finish the conversation or figure things out in the moment is part of that. It it's, it's normal, right? But it's not the ideal way to go about things because all it does is it, per, it, it maintains that emotional flooding, especially in the person who's trying to escape it. And so it's just, and going, that's when hurtful things get said. That's when, Things get broke, I'm sure. <laughs> when fights elevate more than they should. Because yeah. if both people could just separate and calm down and then revisit, and then later. revisit later, it's going to go way, way better. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all we wanted to cover yeah. about emotional flooding. And so if you like the content of this video, then awesome. That's what we're trying to do. And if you know someone who you think this information and advice would help out, then please share our video with them. Thanks. Bye.